Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey, Brett, thanks for joining us on today's video. Once in a while, we get a super, super, super rare car. And like when somebody says to me, hey, man, we got a 2015 Camaro that I think that uh, was Fleming's all the way. I'm like, yeah, that sounds great. And, you know, it's hard to get super excited about that. Although I love the Camaro and I love the 2015 Camaro. There's maybe, you know, 70, 80 or 90,000 of these built. But then the guy says, hey, it's a Z28. And you're like, wow, Z28, hold on. I, don't, I need to read about that a little bit more because most people, when they think Z28, it's kind of a bolt-on package for uh, some of the previous generation cars. It wasn't really something super, super, super exciting. This case here, it is very exciting, very exclusive, and uh, a very, very different car. Not only is it a very different car, there's very few of them built. I think it's somewhere right around the number of 500 done in uh, 2014, and I think 1292 is what uh, Mr. Campbell told me is the number for 2015. So I think that that's kind of the fresh look that you'd be looking for when you go to a car show and the simple fact that you may never see another one of these again, all right? If they've sold 75,000 Camaros a year and this is one of 1,200, uh, I'll let you do the math because I'm not a math expert, but I'm gonna say it's less than 1% of 1% of whatever, so. Uh, but you say to yourself, well, what does the Z28 mean? Uh, is it just another Camaro with some badges and decals on it? And the answer is absolutely no way. If you, if you can't see this car in person, you can't understand the magnitude of what it looks like. It is a fierce black machine of death. Yes, death. Most people have died who have actually owned one of these and that's how we got it. Okay, I'm just kidding about all that part, but it does look really cool when it's going down the road. And the reason why I wanna show you some of those things is because you, black is, the reason people wear black a lot of times is because it has a slimming effect and that's what it does. This has got that, it doesn't work like that on this car. So in here, you're talking about a full track car. This is a full factory race car. Now they had to build these cars so they could go racing in them. They can't build, or, uh, they can't go racing in, in a car without selling it to the public and that's how you are able to get something like this, all right? And this is how you're gonna start with. So when you, your boys come over to the garage and they say, oh, that's a Z28, oh, that's so nice. That's so nice, it's just another Camaro. And you're like, you know what, no dude. Uh, it's not another Camaro, check this out. The emblem starts here. Regular bow tie emblem, cool, right? Yeah, everybody gets a bow tie emblem. But this emblem here is hollow inside. Why is it hollow inside? Because we needed some more airflow through the grill at the track. This chin spoiler right here, this whole front section piece here, all exclusive to the Z28, all right? And because the car is black, you don't see a lot of the little things uh, that you might get. So let's walk around here and I'll show you what I mean by that. For instance, these right here, these flares are added on as well as here too to pass the regulations to drive this car on the road. It has these rockers on the side. They typically don't do a lot of the track, but the reason they're on there is because these wheels and tires are so big, right? They would stick out and they wouldn't pass. This is how they were able to get them to pass. And so if you look inside here and come on down here for a second, we're talking about Brembo brakes here, Z28 specific with labels on them from the factory, all right? and carbon ceramic rotors in there. That, my friends, is what we call exclusive. Now your boy's interested, right? He's at the garage, you're telling him, and now you, now you got his attention? Exactly. Huh? All right, so you're walking around a little bit. You're showing him some of the stuff on the car. This is what you're getting here. Check this out right here. This spoiler here, we're talking about ground effects, and the reason you need something like this is because you're talking about over 500 horsepower under the hood here, right? Once you hit sixth gear at like say 330 miles an hour, cause that's how I normally get to work, like 330, 340. Uh, I've done some prison time, not a lot of prison time, but some prison time. Uh, and I'm hoping no officers are watching this video. It's usually uh, opposite, I'm in the right hand lane behind John O'Neill. We have our flashers on together and we're riding to work and you've probably seen us, that's cool. You know, maybe we're a little, uh, not really car guys, but that's all right. Anyway, the spoiler is great. The exhaust here makes a racket like no other. You got a rear diffuser in the back here, all right? Now here's where this car is a little different than say uh, some of the earlier Mustangs and things like that, is that this has an independent rear in it, all right? And it's heavier duty in here. You're talking about uh, LS power under the hood. You're talking about 505 horsepower that typically would come in just the uh, Z06 Corvette. And now they've taken this engine here, which has those great internals of the motors. They're hand built, they're very expensive. Uh, and they put it in this car here and take it to the track. This thing looks pretty cool so far, am I right? Now your boy is buying tonight. Okay, so uh, let's check out a couple of things in here that, uh, believe it to the regular eye, most people will not notice. For instance, 
427 cubic inches to start with, aluminum block and aluminum head. So if you went to an engine builder today and you said, you know what, I'd like you to build me five, 600 horsepower. I want you to make me an aluminum block, aluminum heads, forged internals, all the best parts, whatever. 25 grand is what you're gonna get for a bell, right? And you get it in a year or two. Here you get it today. Also, this car has a dry sump oil system where the regular Camaros do not have that. So the dry sump oil system allows you to do this. It allows the bottom of the car to be completely flat. So instead of the oil pan hanging down, which would hold all the oil there, they make the oil pan flat and they move that part of the oil pan up to right here, all right? So come on up here and check out some of this stuff, all right? So here's the dry sump system here, heavy duty hoses, clamps, braced here, cold air induction from the factory right here. It's getting its fresh air right in here and right to this port. None of the hot air from inside the engine compartment. This right here is a carbon fiber insert and we have the, uh, the piece that goes underneath. It's a rain guard that would go there in case you want to drive this on the street. The reason why that you would want something like that is because this car here has what the only option you could get from the factory and that is the air conditioning and the upgraded uh, stereo. All right, They normally came without air conditioning and stereo because they're just race cars and you don't really typically listen to uh, Guns N' Roses uh, when you're driving, but uh, I used to love her, but I had to kill her. It's an awesome song to hear on this here while you're rolling down the front straight of your favorite track. All right? So let's say that uh, you wanted to use this to do, uh, to go to work in or something like that. All right? You can do that. The trunk is, uh, and this is the rain guard that I was telling you about that goes inside there. We have a couple towels down inside. And to keep the weight down, man, you don't get anything in this car. There's no, uh, uh, no trunk liner, um, it's designed and it's, uh, a lot of the insulation in the car is gone. All those things that would typically you would get to make a car quiet and what have you is gone, but it's not overly loud in here. It just sounds great in my opinion. And if you want a real performance car, this is that car. So coming on in here, you know, under the hood we have the LS7 which makes all that wonderful sound and inside here you get to hear uh, some of that as well. So these are the Recaro seats that would come on the Z28. All right, there had to be a reason why these cars were so expensive, and they were so expensive because a lot of parts are hand built. You know, these cars are taken off the line and done separately than the regular run of Camaros. All right, uh, this has the shoulder belts here. Okay, and here's the bar that they're bolted to. If you don't want that in the car, uh, I believe you can take it out. I can't swear by that because I've, I've never really researched it enough. Or you can just take these and tuck them behind the seats if you're not going to use those. All right. Uh, special Z28 stuff only, like this suede insert here, suede steering wheel, okay? Z28 emblem call out right here, all right? And then uh, most everything's covered in, in Alcantara or suede or something like that. And the reason why is because when your hands get sweaty or what have you, it gives you a nice traction and you don't lose one your hands to slip off there. The upgraded stereo, we talked about that earlier. It comes with it. You don't ever have to turn it on if you don't want to, but it's there if you do, all right? And then we have uh, Touring and Sport Plus modes, all right? And as you uh, toggle through those two switches, this, uh, when you push touring, believe it or not, you can just ride this car and it rides to work like a regular car. I drove this car home and back the other day and it was really an awesome car. But if you want to get aggressive and you want some uh, things to happen, uh, this has the Sport Mode uh, and the Sport Plus Plus and you can have five different modes, oh, wait, five different modes <laughs> of Sport Plus taking it all the way from some intervention of the electronics to keep the car in line, all right? This car can actually break individual wheels separately. Uh, it has yaw sensors and uh, things like that, and accelerometers in the car to keep the car online. And as you advance up the Sport Plus Plus button, all right, it takes those away all the way to full race where there's no intervention at all. So once you get really good at the car and you want to turn that off, uh, you can do all that. Anyway, so that's your uh, few minutes in here and you have some modern accoutrements as well. It does have the optional air conditioning, it does have power windows, it does have power locks. Uh, and it's like a real, I don't know how to explain it, man. It's like a real race car that you could drive to work if you wanted to once in a while. So anyway, just something to think about. All right, so we close up the video and run down a few bullets and even a couple that we probably forgot about along the way. Carbon ceramic brakes, only on the Z28 from the factory. I mean, huge brake system. A lot of the reason that the wheel is so big is because the brakes and calipers are so big and they had to put these size wheels on there to fit those inside. This has a full adjustable coilover suspension, very expensive, can't get it on any other Camaro except the Z28. Obviously it has an aerodynamics package here that looks, uh, it looks pretty sick as well. Uh, seven liters of aluminum V8, uh, starts life at 505 horsepower. These are so easy to modify to 600 horsepower. 
very little it takes to get at that place. So they keep them at 505 because they're trying to meet emission standards and things like that, stuff that you won't have to worry about anymore. That's up to you. This car's still bone stock, so uh, uh, it's really cool. Uh, we talked about it having the optional package of air conditioning uh, and the stereo and uh, the exclusivity of the fact that you're one of you know 1,200 people in 2015 who have a car like this. This is a full race car and $75,000, I believe they said they were losing money uh, at the original sticker price of this car. So anyway, this is a great car, a great price, great deal, well taken care of, and uh, it would be awesome in your garage. So if you can find a way to get a really, really cool Z28 in your life, call us, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about it.